fly fishing with a spinning rod. When I first introduced this revolutionary technique, it received praise from five different continents, literally around the world. People reported catching more fish than ever before, up to 10 times as many fish. But there is so much more to know about this innovative method. Now, for the first time ever, a DVD is available explaining the entire technique in detail. Learn the greatest improvement in freshwater sport fishing methodology of all time from the person who developed it. The DVD presents the information in five easy lessons. Part one is a simple summary and overview of how to fly fish with a spinning rod. Part two covers basic principles such as how to avoid tangles, line choice, casting methods, hookless lures, rod selection, and more. Part three covers lures, primarily spinners, spoons, and crankbaits. Which ones to use, when to use them, and how to use them. The improvements I have made in crankbait fishing are worth the price alone. Many people have asked me about fly fishing with other lure types. I explain about other lures as well, their pros and their cons. Part four covers flies. Dry flies, wet flies, nymphs, soft hackles, streamers, and terrestrials. Sure, you could read about flies in a traditional fly fishing book, but those books were written by fly rod fishermen. My DVD will save you years of effort in learning how to use and select the right flies with the right lure combination when fly fishing with a spinning rod. Part five features advice for fishing warm water species. Not many people realize the tremendous advantage flies have over lures at catching bluegills and sunfish. And here is what I have to say about fly fishing for bass. Before I learned how to fly fish for trout, I used to do a lot of fishing for smallmouth bass. And probably my favorite lure was this little plastic jig here. After I developed my technique for fly fishing, I tried to apply it to smallmouth bass fishing. And let me tell you, the results were astonishing. I found that over 75% of the bass that I caught preferred a fly over a lure. Those are very significant figures, and it clearly indicates that by attaching a fly behind your lure, you can catch more bass than ever before using the te techniques that I'm teaching. Let me tell you how it's done. The methods I present are a massive improvement over outdated, traditional approaches to fly fishing with a spinning rod. Put away your bobbers, get out your lures, get out your flies, and go catch some fish. The DVD, How to Fly Fish with a Spinning Rod, is currently available from Amazon or coppersmithstudios.com.